so uh, next uh, topic is battery modeling so uh, while uh, while we were talking about the battery case design we have seen all this factor but when we actually design a battery model so it would look like this so this is a battery pack for nmc uh, 12 volt 15 ah plastic casing so mainly these used in uh, bicycle or light duty vehicle, uh, vehicles so here you can see uh, these are the nmc cells are uh, packed in a cell holder these are the two cell holder at the top and at the bottom uh, so it goes into this casing so these are the casing part a plastic casing uh, here you can see the pcb it is nothing but a bms uh, which is inbuilt bms second one is a nickel strip so we have uh, seen or i have told you again the nickel strip is used to connect battery pack in series and parallel uh, and again we have seen here it is a 4s 6p battery pack so 4s means uh, the battery pack is connected in series four uh, cell and six cells are connected in parallelly it uh, gives you 12 volt 15 ah uh, here is the uh, led indicator which shows you the uh, uh, i mean the remaining battery pack. i mean what how much capacity is remain in the battery pack so it is a very simple uh, structure inside here you can see nothing this is nothing but a, a casing contents of the soft casing uh, holded by the cell holder we can easily design this but uh, whereas here you can see it is a battery uh, contain of 48 volt 200 ah in metal casing uh, these were the nmc cell but this is lfp uh, cell we have seen it uh, this is lfp prismatic cell you can see uh, the size is bigger so uh, mostly these batteries are used in uh, forklift three wheeler or uh, rarely uh, in uh, four wheeler like e2o mahindra so uh, here you can see uh, the construction is uh, very simple similar to the uh, this battery pack the bus bar is uh, made up of nickel or either uh, copper uh, it's depend on our choice we can use any one of those uh, bus bar holder which hold and connect the battery pack uh, serially, uh, in series and parallel uh, the important part is a battery bms which is inbuilt uh, it is uh, sticked on this plate we can uh, place a bms over the top of the battery pack either uh, where wherever the space is available we can install it over there uh, here are the cell number of cells we can see uh, then there is the insulation play, pads has been given it is made up of epoxy sheet which we were talking about the soft casing it is used to avoid a short circuit or the co contact between two terminal and this is a metal casing so the manufacturing of casing is a kind of simple because uh, uh, it is a, like uh, easy construction we have seen here rectangular or either a square type but for like light due to uh, vehicles or uh, the application where uh, the cost is uh, concerned in that case we use those kind of casings and this is a cold plate so uh, it is also a type of i mean uh, a cooling system but here the mostly cooling happens by the air so it is air cooled both are the air cooled battery packs uh, third one is a lfp battery pack two uh, 320 volt aluminium casing so it is a huge uh, battery pack used in a four wheelers mostly like uh, uh, tata nexon mz hector so those use this type of uh, casing made up of aluminium so uh, we have to uh, make a molding for to uh, design uh, to get this kind of uh, casing here you can see uh, this is a housing to hold a complete battery pack the battery pack is nothing but also a number of cell uh, here you can see the cell module 1 2 3 4 5 6 parallelly there are six so 12 uh, cell models are uh, connected in series and parallel to get uh, 230 320 volt so these are the prismatic cells so but uh, here in like four wheelers uh, the kind of electrical safety and the components used are uh, very highly proven and uh, requires a high uh, voltage and uh, rating so it can sustain uh, the high uh, current so where you can see the cooling system is here so here uh, the cooling could be by a liquid or the heat exchanging uh, method we have seen where your operator will be there to uh, take a hot heat from the battery pack and again will cool it and again will recirculate from this housing to uh, maintain a battery uh, temperature uh, up to the certain level so when we uh, put a completely battery pack this is the upper housing which will fix a battery pack by the screwing and this is a lower uh, body which holds a complete battery pack so mainly these are installed in a uh, floor uh, of the uh, four wheeler we have seen it in nexon mg hector which are uh, kind of fixed battery pack which cannot be uh, easily removed uh, only uh, if you want to do some maintenance or if you want to uh, change this cell module due to the unbalancing we can uh, remove it 
so uh, this is nothing but uh, a cooling system given to the battery pack it is a pouch cell we have seen it other uh, we have seen a nexon pouch cell uh, it was a similarly like this so uh, there are a multiple cells and here you can see the cooling is given by a uh, coil uh, which is circulating on one side of uh, battery pouch and uh, similarly from the other side the heat uh, sorry the cooled liquid will be transferred from here and then it will be heated into the heat transfer from the battery and it will again be recirculated to the cooling system evaporator and again it will be to cool and the same process will ha happen again and again so it is mostly used in a four wheeler or heavy duty application so uh, these were the ma uh, major factors while uh, considering while designing a battery modeling battery packs we have seen uh, the battery assembly so when we uh, we were talking about the final packaging and uh, final product it would uh, look like this or either this or uh, like this after uh, going through all the process the finished product would be like this so i hope the major uh, topics has been covered in this session